it was CJ Bott who picked it up, cut back to Van Norden and fired it into the back of the net. It was good work from Bott. Good work also from the big striker for New Zealand and relief all around the ground for the New Zealand supporters. Ganemba whipped in a great cross and it was Gabong who got on the end of it. But unfortunately for Gabong, over the top. Another chance fell, this time for Georgina Kaikis. And uh, she managed to turn Robertson. She certainly got her shot away, but she'd be disappointed with that finish. Bot again down the right. Caused a few problems for PNG. And Coombs, it was with the drive from just outside the box. But PNG showed plenty of endeavour in this first half. And another chance fell when Kaikis picked it up and tried to play in Ganemba. But it was just a little heavy. But at that stage, they were certainly coming back into it, PNG, and enjoyed very nice 10 or 15 minutes. And then it was a lovely touch there from Briar Palmer. She brought the ball down, lined up the shot, but in the end, Lace Kunai with the save. As we look at the highlights of the second half, CJ Bott got more and more into the game. She teed up Pukitapo, who in turn cut it back for Emma Ralston. It wasn't a great finish, truth be told, but uh, early signs in that second half that New Zealand was starting to hit their straps. Pukitapo then lined up cleverly, who just sent it wide of uh, Lace Kune's upright, and New Zealand were very much on top at this stage. Papua New Guinea had their chance though. Ganemba broke into the box, got away from Moore, and substitute Laura Merrin was there to rescue New Zealand as uh, Yvonne Gabong was lurking at the far post. Another chance for New Zealand. It fell for Martin Pukitapu, who thundered her shot against the upright. And in a raid down the left-hand side was a great ball in by Palmer. Emma Ralston met it first time and Lace Kune was the save. Jasmine Pereira had just come on for New Zealand and with a first touch, she drilled it to the far post to make the, uh, the game safe for New Zealand and to put New Zealand firmly in the departure lounge for Canada. And then finally, a corner deflected off Ramona Morris made it 3-0. Well, Aaron, that didn't look like an easy match up there today. How, how'd you do it? Well, I'm not sure what you mean, but um, PNG came to the game with a lot of energy and made life difficult for us, which is exactly what we want. And uh, I think a lot of kudos has got to go for some island nations where you know they're putting a lot of resources into the women's game and you can see it's paying dividends. Physically, they challenged us with their speed of pressing and they wanted to play in position as well, which gave us some challenges. So we're very pleased to come through with the win. So obviously you've qualified for the FIFA Under 20 World Cup. Congratulations. What's next for this side? Well, we want to spend a lot more time uh, working with the group. Um, there'll be a group that'll be working in Auckland. There'll be some that are still based in the United States, but working with all the individuals on their own individual programs so that come the World Cup and beyond, which is really important as well, that they're technically developing. And uh, that's what we want to see is um, that growth in all of our players. Right, well, congratulations again, Aaron. All right, thank you.
Rachel, commiserations. It was a hard fought match by your girls out there. Are you happy with how they performed despite an outcome that you probably didn't want? Yes, I'm very impressed with my girls because they could uh, hold uh, uh, New Zealand in the first half 1 0, and then into the second half, they did very well to hold New Zealand again. But unfortunately, unfortunately, they had to score their own goal. But otherwise, I'm very, very much impressed with my girls' performance. So what next for the side? Um, will they be working towards the, uh, the national women's team? Do you think a few of them could break through into that side? Yeah, all, all of them uh, have been listed for the Pacific Games. But as we go back, we'll be preparing. And then maybe some of them will be stepping out because the, the criteria will depend on Discipline as well, not just being very good players. Great, thank you, Rachel.